hello guys welcome back to my channel this is a recap of episode 11 big brother ninja reunion so episode 11 was about fights confrontations drama bars balls i'll advise you guys to carry your popcorn your soft dream because it's gonna get hot it's gonna get hot so it started when Ebuka played a clip where Beatrice and the whole house got into an argument where she walked out on the housemates and they were all furious and angry in that clip. Ebuka asked the owl, the house if Beatrice was misunderstood because it was looking like the whole house was against Beatrice. If you guys can remember in the show, Beatrice was very isolated. She isolated herself and she didn't really involve, she wasn't really involved with the rest of the housemates. So Ebuka asked Yerins if he thinks Beatrice was misunderstood. Yerins said he had a conversation with Beatrice and he understood that she had some kind of trauma growing up. She experienced some traumatic situations while she was growing up and that made people misunderstand her. And also, she also made people misunderstand her by making it look like and making them think like that uh, she was a wild card. And he felt that was very intentional. But he tried getting closer to her regardless, even when everybody gave up on trying. Because in the house, a lot of people, a lot of people tried getting close to Beatrice, but she just shot, she just shot everybody out. So Ebuka directed the same question that he asked Yerins to Maria. And Maria said she also tried to figure out Beatrice and probably get closer to her. But at some point, she got fed up and she felt Beatrice was confused about what she was doing in Biggie's house. Hmm. And she has a very confusing personality because she would always be by herself and not talk to anybody. She, she And she literally found Beatrice confusing. Then Ebuka asked Beatrice if Maria's explanation about her personality was valid. Then Beatrice said she did not like Maria, that she didn't like Maria in the house. And she actually stopped Maria from talking to her because she felt Maria is very controlling. Look, Maria was controlling. And that Maria would ask her to come do her shoes, come fix her dresses, and come, come fix her dress. And she doesn't like people who are controlling, that nobody controls her. And the fact is she does not like Maria. Beatrice, it's better you say it with your full chest that you do not like Maria. Because I don't see a problem with your housemate telling you to please help me with my shoe. It's not a problem. Except you have another, maybe... Maybe you have some bad belief for the person because I don't see any I don't see anything there. Come come help me fix my shoes. Please come help me zip my clothes. There's nothing there. Anyway, she said with her foot chest that she doesn't like Maria. Hmm. Guys, remember this episode is confrontation and bastards. I said it before. Pick your or carry your popcorn. And enjoy this episode because there is a lot of buzz boost. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. So let's continue. Maria came into the conversation and was like, when did I ever ask you to buckle my shoes? The Maria said in the house, they all helped each other. And if she ever did that or ever told Beatrice to help her buckle her shoe, that she didn't remember. And everyone in the house sent each other a message. You know this thing that when other people do something or when other people do something to you, you let it slide. But when that very person that you do not like does the same thing, it becomes a problem. I think that is what is happening here. Beatrice was just going on and on about how she doesn't like Maria. And that was why she didn't want Maria to be her friend. So Maria was like, Talin, you're not even my type of friend. So Beatrice replied her and said, ah, she doesn't want to be with friends that of people that goes about snatching people's husband. Hey, hey, hey. So Maria told Beatrice that if you dislike me, maybe it's because of your inferiority that you are insecure about yourself. Like she was telling Beatrice that Beatrice was insecure about herself. That how many men has Beatrice been with since she left the biggest house? That she, Maria, has always be, only been with one man. Hey, Beatrice stood up for where she was. Going to fight. 
Auntie Beatrice, this is a war. This is a mouth-to-mouth war. Why are you coming with gun? Why are you coming to fight? Sit down and you guys should squash it out. Woman to woman. Abana, why are you coming to fight? This is not a boxing ring. <laughs> I said what I said. Everybody was holding Auntie Beatrice. She said, no, she wants to fight. Even Pear was even asking her, oh yeah, calm down now. You never wish to fight. Truly, Beatrice does not like Maria. Because her reaction was really overboard for me. Two of you were having mouth-to-mouth arguments. Why did you stand up to go and fight? <laughs> hey, God. Maybe we didn't see the other side of Beatrice, like she said. Maybe we didn't see the other side. Maybe we didn't see this bass boost. Look, I think we saw the little bass boost, but we didn't really see the bass boost part of Beatrice. There was so much argument. There was so much argument between the both of them, confrontations. Maria was even asking Beatrice, did you come to the reunion with a strategy? Because in the house, me and you were not friends, we were not talking, and what's all this coming to fight me for? And oh, they had to literally carry Beatrice out of the whole place. They had to carry Beatrice out of the place because Beatrice was ready to throw blue. Like, she was ready to remove her wig and shoe and throw blue. For real, I think Beatrice wants to bring highlights to yesterday's reunion. Anyway, girl, you had your time, you had your highlights, you had your spotlights, everybody's talking about you. Clapping for you. Guys, I think there's so much bad blood going on between these two because I don't really understand how this whole thing got to this point, how it climaxed to this point. <laughs> hey, God. Ha. Beatrice told Maria that she was not up to her straight legs. But apart from her bitch's accent, mm, I will not say what she said a bit. <laughs> I was like, for you to come and be fighting on national TV, you don't have morals. The altercation was intense. It was intense. I think Beatrice and um, Maria's confrontation was the highlight of yesterday's show for me. It was the highlight because nobody saw it coming. Nobody saw this the whole drama coming. And I, I was thinking, I thought, I, I think... That drama, the drama yesterday was very not necessary. It was not necessary for me because what is even the cause of their argument? What is the cause of their wanting to fight? What is it? You don't like me? Fine, Abby. Ah, ah, we move. So moving forward from the whole brouhaha, Ebuka played the next clip. And this next clip was involving Tega and Boma. Hmm. Where they were in the bedroom doing some mushy mushy stuff. You guys remember Tega and Boma situation that caught the internet on fire. So Ebuka asked Michael what he thought when he saw the Tega and Boma situation, that what was going through his mind. Michael said he felt weird because Tega was married before coming into the house. Tega was supposed to be married. But he didn't pay much attention to it because it wasn't his business. But he felt it was like adultery kind of thing. And if it just felt weird for him. But they are two consensual adults and they, uh, they, they are ready to take up whatever responsibility or whatever comes out of their actions. So Ebuka asked Perry what he thought about the whole situation since he was friends with Boma, with Boma in the house. Then Perry said he didn't really think Tega was married. That he thought that was her, that was just her strategy. Even Jackie B said she also felt the same way. That she felt Tega was just being strategic. And that was her strategy in the house to say she was married. So it was now Boma's turn to talk. The Okra gang, our Okra president. <laughs> Boma said it was still part of the game for him when they would him why he chose to go through that route knowing fully well that this lady is married he said he knew something that no one else knew in the house because they were close him and he and Tega they were very close and that Tega told him that the marriage wasn't there and she and her husband were separated prior to the time she came into the house 
Then he didn't say anything to anybody because that wasn't his story to tell. And that for him, it was, it was all about entertainment and games. And he didn't want people to predict him. He wanted to be the unpredictable, okrawish Boma. And he said he felt a lot of people were jealous about him because he came from the States. He came in from the US, the show. And before he came to the house, he was already he already has good followings on social media and he was verified. So he already knew that he would be hated regardless of anything. And he didn't say what he did was either right or wrong, but the narrative was blown out of proportion because Tega's marriage ended since 2020. That Tega told him her marriage ended since 2020. So in his head, he was dealing with a single woman. And 98% of married men in Nigeria has girlfriends who they foot their bills. Boma, how did you come up with that statistics? So Ebuka turned to Tega and asked her when she was separated because since it was alien to everybody, even to me, it was alien to me. Nobody knew Tega was separated before coming into the house. So she said she was separated in 2020 and she had a conversation with her ex-husband that whatever happens in the show, he should stay out of it. And she didn't go into the show as married. She went into the, into the show as separated. Even in her first interview, she said she was separated. But walking into the house and seeing J. Paul, seems she and J. Paul knew each other outside the house, she had to change plans because she felt J. Paul might snitch on her. And she started telling the housemaid that she was married. And that was supposed to be her strategy. But for her, it was all about crews and just games. I love this question Ebuka asked her. The next question Ebuka asked her. Ebuka asked her, why did she not say she was separated in the house? Because she kept on saying she was married and she told the housemate she was married. Why did she not mention the fact that she was separated? And she said the fact that her ex-husband came out and made people believe there was someone in the picture. And if he had stuck with the conversation they had prior to her coming into the house, that they had a conversation. I don't know what the conversation was. And... If the husband has talked, if her ex-husband has talked to the conversation they had, people would have been wondering where he was. And to her, it was a mind game. Tega, I don't really get, understand your point. This your point does not really make any sense to me at all at all. Because nobody knows about your separation. And whatever reactions you are getting now, or whatever outrage you got, because you were supposed to be married. And marriage is an institution a sacred institution. So you cannot expect people to clap for you when you went to the house for leaking with some other guy. So you should have come out straight and tell everybody that, oh, you are separated. And not even bring the marriage thing into the show at all. So guys, this is the end of day 11 reunion show. Guys, what do you think about maria and beatrice altercation and also boma and tega's situation drop a comment let me know what you think please guys don't forget to subscribe click on the notification bell to get updated because i will keep updating you guys on this big brother ninja show thank you so much for watching share like and comment on this page bye adios